Uh, my father and I, our first sales trip out of Northern California, we went to Austin, Texas for a charity tasting. And we were pouring Chardonnay and Cabernet. And people would come up and look at the bottles and they couldn't pronounce Chardonnay or Cabernet Sauvignon. So they just touch the bottles and they say, I'll have a little bit of the cold one, please. Then the funny thing is when you pour a little bit in the glass, they say, no, just a little bit from the top. And uh, that's how we uh, started uh, selling wine in an area that might not have known our wines before. Because in Austin, Texas, back in the late 70s, there's only two restaurants that would think about serving wine. And they're the Palmasan and Almond Inn. Everything else was Lone Star beer and Tex-Mex food. So spicy food and kind of beer. And so when we go into these markets and introduce about Napa Valley wines, here's quality wines, and uh, we'd come back the next year, people look at the bottles and say, let me try some of that Cabernet. So of course here. And so this is how uh, Napa Valley wines kind of grew uh, throughout uh, the U.S. and people would try them and it'd go well with their food. Chefs would try, try you know, uh, different mixtures of cuisines. People would travel to Europe, come back and say, you know, it's an Italian restaurant in Rome. Now I want these uh, same experience in Austin, Texas. And then the wine and food culture kind of grew right in front of our eyes over the last 40 years. It's just been an exciting ride. It, wherever we go, sometimes we say, you know, cake bread is, our winery is, is well known in the U.S., but if you go to Shanghai or Beijing, they'll say, what's the cake bread? It's like, well, that's our family name, and we're from Napa Valley. It's like, well, where's Napa Valley? And so you're, we're saying some of the same things that we used to say 35 years ago uh, in the U.S. In, in these new markets. And so it's really exciting to uh, see this. And what's really exciting is we know what happens at the end of the book, so to speak, because we know that there's a good chance that they'll enjoy your wines because we've already done this once before in our lifetime.